All right, folks, gather round, buckle up, and grab a snack, because today we're talking about something so shiny, so secretive, and so ridiculously high-tech that it might just teleport you straight into the future of aerial combat. You guessed it. The F-47 Phoenix. The fighter jet that's supposed to be the holy grail of American air superiority. Yes, yes, I know. F-47, what's that? I haven't heard about that in the news, and why isn't it called an F-35 Mark II? Don't worry. Many of you had the same polite question before this bird decided to flap its wings for the first time. What is the F-47 Phoenix? Why should you care and why did it take so long to arrive again? Grab your sarcastic goggles, we're diving deep. What exactly is the F-47 Phoenix? First things first, let's clear the air, pun intended. The F-47 Phoenix is Boeing's brand spanking new sixth generation fighter jet under development for the U.S. Air Force's Next Generation Air Dominance Program. Over the past decade, the military aviation world has been buzzing about this project, with information as classified as the Colonel's Special Sauce Recipe. If that sounds confusing, just think of it as the replacement for the F-22 Raptor, the stealth ace fighter jet that's been strutting around since the early 2000s. Except now, the F-47 is supposed to take air combat to a whole new level, with cutting-edge sensory tech stealth features that could hide a whole city and flying wingman drones because apparently even fighter jets don't like going into battle alone anymore. Now hold on to your aluminum hats because here comes some juicy insider info. The F-47 program was apparently on the chopping block not too long ago, in 2024 to be precise, and nearly got the axe. Imagine that. After years of design, millions in spending, and a hundred sleepless nights of engineers binging coffee, the program nearly went kaput. But then like a good old-fashioned Hollywood comeback story, or a soap opera cliffhanger, it got miraculously revived, and with it came the name Phoenix. This wasn't just a random code name, it's literal symbolism. The Phoenix is a mythical bird rising from its ashes, which is exactly what the program did after facing near extinction. The patch even sports the motto Super Amos Per Stamus Letimus, which means we overcome, we endure, we rejoice. That's right, folks. Not only will this bird fly, it's also going to emotionally support you through tough times. What's so special about this jet? Anyway, Okay, now the tech talk begins, and trust me, this is where it gets really fun. Forget everything you know about stealth jets because the F-47 is playing in a whole different ballpark. Imagine a jet that can cruise faster than the speed of sound. Like, without slamming the afterburners like your uncle trying to overtake someone on the highway. This is called Super Cruise, and this baby has it. This means faster incoming strikes quicker escapes and more time for pilots to brag on social media. Then there's the maneuverability. The F-47 reportedly has canard four planes, those small wings near the nose, that give it the agility of a caffeinated cat so it can outturn anything that tries to dogfight it. And weapons. Oh boy, this jet will carry hypersonic missiles, which means they fly so fast you won't even see them coming. Plus, the jet is designed for networked warfare meaning it chats with drones and satellites to coordinate attacks like a well-oiled digital orchestra. For stealth, it's not just about looking cool on the radar scope anymore. The F-47 stealth design is next level, making it the aerial equivalent of a ninja in a room full of spotlight-wielding tourists. Why is the F-47 so late to join the party? You might be thinking, hold up. Why is the first real F-47 only just landing in 2025 when the rumor mill started years ago? Well, welcome to Military Defense Program's version of Fashionably Late. Developing a sixth-generation fighter isn't exactly a weekend DIY project. Years of testing, redesigning, and probably some very expensive coffee breaks are needed before this jet can actually fly with confidence. And remember, this is no ordinary plane. It's supposed to outsmart, outmaneuver and outlast everything out there. They say the maiden flight is planned around 2028, so you might as well mark your calendar and prepare for at least a dozen government statements that sound like, we re still working hard on it. Meanwhile, the F-47 is probably still getting its pilot's license and practicing taxiing on the runway. Who else is in the race? While the US Air Force is perfecting the F-47, the competition is fierce. 
China's pulling some serious weight with their advanced stealth fighters, flaunting new designs that have defense analysts biting their nails. Russia, not to be outdone, is rumored to be packing weapons no one has the specs for, probably things that sound straight out of a sci-fi novel. But here's the kicker. The F-47 is designed to make all those complicated updates and innovations look like kid-ass play. It's not just a flying machine. It's a digital war command center with the ability to control drone swarms, jam radar, and maybe order pizza mid-flight. Okay, maybe not the last one, but give it time. Technological superiority is the name of the game here, and the Phoenix wants to bring home the gold medal. What does it mean for the average Joe? Unless you're a pilot or defense contractor, the F-47 won't affect your morning commute. But geopolitically, it's a huge deal. It signals continued American air dominance, tech leadership, and a message to the rest of the world. Don't poke the bear, or you might get burned by its phoenix flame. It also fuels the military-industrial complex with shiny new toys, and keeps the economy buzzing with engineering jobs and aerospace innovations that might someday trickle down to civilian tech. Flying into the future. So, to recap, the F-47 Phoenix is a next-gen flying beast that's been almost born, almost canceled, and now almost ready to strut its stuff. It's a flying mix of stealth, speed, tech wizardry, and mythical symbolism. Will it fly in combat? Will it change warfare? Will it finally let drone operators take a back seat? The answer is probably somewhere in the future. But one thing's clear. The Phoenix has landed and it won't just be another bird in the sky. Thanks for hanging out for this ride through military aviation's latest blockbuster. If you like this sarcastic deep dive, hit that like button. Subscribe for more tech with a twist and tell me in the comments, what futuristic feature do you want to see in fighter jets? Teleportation? Laser wings? Comment below.